Good evening, YouTubers. Uh, quick video tonight. We'll be looking at a program called the CDR DAO, and uh, this program is designed to uh, basically rip audio CDs and turn them into files that you can reuse later for uh, reburning later on. Basically, uh, a backing up, uh, backing up uh, audio CDs, which can be tricky because Wodum and, and the like are um, not exactly compatible with um, the uh, layout of uh, audio on a CD. Anyway, the program CD. CDR DAR and once again guys as usual look at this video in high definition if you don't you probably won't read some of the text which by the way gets some artifacting anyway with the um, encoding decoding process anyway uh, what we have is a list of functions here and the one we're going to use and I'm just going to here's my little example here CDR read CD device or dash dash device slash device slash sr0 we're going to create a file called mcbin the reason why I'm using mc I might as well give it. now that's basically um, that's almost done the job there at track 18 and the next thing is and I've already done it but I'll just show you anyway is uh, I've just blanked the CD that I'm about to write to but uh, first uh, I might want to grab some track data okay uh, this, this CD already has the CD text there, but if we actually just uh, now where did I put I put that in MC dot mm, okay well we we'll do move MC dot BI which was not the intended place to put it and we'll put it at MC dot bin anyway it's a bit of a cut scene there isn't it but uh, anyway uh, so we got CDR D A okay. And what we're going to do is we're going to grab that um, the CDR, uh, well basically CD data, and we'll write it to a TOC file. Okay, so uh, bear with me for a minute while I do this. CD, uh, CDR DAO. Um, um, read CDDB. And I'm not sure if I'm meant to do this one here. I have an idea that I might. Here we go. Oh well, that's unfortunate, but usually you can find... Oh, for this TOC file. That's not really a TOC file, is it? No. Well, what I can do is, it's quite simple. I can grab the TOC file. So all I'm doing here is grabbing um, the data, uh, just to give you an idea anyway, I mean this is just meant to be a quick, oh, here we go, ah oh, yep, and we'll call it mc.toc. Oh. Ah, uh, okay. Anyway. Look, we won't bother with that. You guys can create your own TOC file and stuff like that. It's, uh, but anyway, it's just for grabbing the data so that you know what the CD is or whatever like that. But anyway, so the next step is, as I said, to blank, blank the uh, the, the device. Uh, sorry, the CD and the device. And I've used well. The reason why I'm blanking is because obviously I've got a CDRW. Don't want to be wasting discs. It took me 49 seconds to do that, so it wasn't it wasn't too long. Get rid of that. And uh, yeah, so the next bit is to uh, write, write that because um, we're copying an audio CD. As I said, you don't want to be doing you trying this with Wodum because it deals with ISO files very nicely. Doesn't deal with audio CDs very nicely. <coughs> so getting those options up again, we just go CDR DAO, and we shall go right. I'm pretty sure we could have all said on the copy thing, but I just wanted to show you that you can grab a credit file, um, you know, and do what you got to do. And we'll be using SR1 as indicated by our blinked, blinked on here, two CD drives, and we got mc.bin. And with any luck, CD drive, it's giving us some time anyway to decide that we don't want to do that. Of course, yeah. 
you um, want to make sure that uh, you're doing the right thing and so it gives you a chance to stop that. You might not want to be writing a wasting CDs and whatnot. The reason why anyway, I introduced this topic is because my mate the other day installed uh, KDE 4.6 RC.